Well, it would be a tough consideration for me if I were going to school whether I wanted to not only invest, I'm done at college, uh, whether I wanted to invest the four years. I, I didn't want to go to college that much when I went, got out of high school. But not only the four years, but if I had to incur, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in student debt, I, I, I don't know what, which decision I would make. Uh, no, it's, it, you know, higher education is really expensive. And we've helped out many thousands of students and the Gates Foundation has done the same thing and, and other of the foundations that I support. But, but it's just expensive. It's very Is it expensive. still worth it? It depends on the individual. It depends on the individual more than the school. I mean, it, uh, uh, there's a lot to learn in those four years. I mean, there's a lot you can learn in those four years, and whether you do or not depends on more on the individual. Uh, I don't think it. I don't think it makes sense for everybody to go to college. You know, I, I, uh, and I'm not so sure it made sense for me to go to college. Uh, really? Come on. No, I, I'm not kidding. I I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I learned a lot by reading, hmm. and. And you know, I spent three or four years, well, counting graduate school, four years. Uh, that I could have been doing other things. I, <laughs> and there were a lot of intelligent things to do then. <laughs> Who knows? I, no, I, I don't think it was a cinch. I mean, I, I had some wonderful people I met through it. Main thing when I went to Columbia, though, with, with uh, taking Ben Graham's course, I already knew what he was going to say. I mean, I, I, I read it. I understood. You know, I mean, he was a very good writer. But it was inspirational. It was inspirational more than it was educational. We have fun every time we talk, and we are having, we are doing what we love to do with people we love, every day. And you know, I've been lucky on health. I, God knows, uh, you know how Charlie in '96 and me at '89 with our habits and everything. It, it's a, it's a, I don't know what it's a testament to. I think actually, it, being happy in what you're doing makes. A huge difference, and you don't want to go around having grudges against people. And I mean, all these things that cause you to think negatively, whether it's about the world or about individuals or about your own bad luck or anything of the sort. Just forget it. You know, basically, I think I, I think that helps. If you can find some, uh, I'd say look for the job that you would take if you didn't need a job, and if you can find that where you're actually. I don't. I don't think I've had a job. I mean, I've never. I would define work as doing something when you'd rather be doing something else. Hmm. And, and, you know, when I sold shirts at pennies and I was getting 75 cents an hour, I would rather have been doing something else. <laughs> but since I've been certainly 24, I've always, I've never, there wasn't anything else I wanted to do. And I had everything I needed and life was wonderful. And, and I tell the students that, you know, you got to live, so you, you may take a job at first for some organization that you don't admire or work for somebody you don't admire, but, but look for somebody you admire. Look, look for somebody where you're looking forward to working with them that day and doing something that you're looking forward to, that you'd do if you didn't need the money. And Charlie and I found that a long time ago. Yes. What advice would you give to a young investor today? Well, you've got to understand accounting. You've got to... That's got to be like a language to you, and uh, so yeah, you have to know what you're reading. I mean, and, and, and unless you know that language, and 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 some people have more aptitude for that than others. I, I don't know, but uh, and that's one thing I learned by myself. Now I took courses in it afterwards, for example, but I, but I learned it myself in it largely. Uh, so you have to do that, and you have to have the attitude that you're buying part of a business and not that you're buying something that wiggles around on a charter that has resistance zones or 200-day moving averages or that you buy puts or calls on or anything like that. You're buying part of a business. And if you buy intelligently into a business, you're going to make money. And then you have to buy something that, in my view, which you do if you're buying a business, that you're not going to get a quote on for five years, that they're going to close the stock exchange tomorrow for five years, and that you'll be happy owning it as a business. If you owned Coca-Cola, it didn't really make any difference in 1920. When it went public, the important thing was what it was doing with customers. And you probably would have been better off 
if there wasn't any market in it for 30 or 40 years, because then you wouldn't have gotten tempted to sell it. <laughs> and you'd just watch the business and you'd watch it grow and, and uh, you'd feel happy. So you, the, the proper attitude toward investing is, is much more important than any technical skills.